The tortoise in the hare is a cautionary tale every realtor should keep in mind this year. Until recently, just about every housing market across the country was on fire. If you're an agent that got started in the booming times, the downturn we're all expecting could be a shock to you. Don't let the last few years catch you off guard like a sleeping hare. In this quick video, find out five of the worst traps that will hurt realtors who aren't ready for them. I'm Nathan Clark with your home sold guaranteed realty here in Rhode Island. Many of us have enjoyed some of the best growth and profits for our real estate business in the last few years. Before you get caught in a struggling business, make sure you're thinking about traps agents fall into. Plus, if you want more tips and advice and find out how to come out of the feast to famine roller coaster income problem that most agents have in real estate, check out our real estate team and find out how you'll be guaranteed to make $100,000 of net income guaranteed or more, or I'll pay you the difference in cash. Check us out at sellmorehomesnow.info. Now, let's get into it. So getting comfortable is deadly in a changing economic conditions. If you haven't noticed changes sweeping through the housing market in recent months, you haven't been paying attention. It seems like everything is changing nearly on a dime. Interest rates are jumping up and pushing buyers out of the market. And property values are starting to slip. The last few years have been some realtors have made some really good money out there and gotten really comfortable. But that's a very dangerous mindset moving forward. To be a top agent, you need to be ready to capitalize on the good times and brace with the strategy for the hard times. Here are five things you shouldn't sleep on that are never really going to happen in a cooling market. One is expecting markets to stay booming. Listen, this is a rookie mistake. And to be honest with you, I've never seen such a long booming market. We've had like six years of a straight of booming market and the last two were absolutely on fire. It ain't going to be like this forever. It's very naive to think that that's going to happen. And it's made a lot of agents fat and happy. I get that. But the pendulum swings both ways. So that's a huge mistake to just think this is going to be like six months and things are going to blow over. So if you're a new agent or those with short memory, it can hard to imagine a booming market turning. But we're starting to see it happen. It's happening now. So this might be just a late video to tell you this. But if you don't know this, yeah, the market doesn't boom forever. <laughs> Number two is relying on past success. Let's see, what you did yesterday has nothing to do with your success today. Every day you need to wake up and earn it. So don't fall asleep at the wheel. If you don't have concrete goals and strategies to keep your business growing when the market isn't booming, you won't make it. Even if you had the success in the past, don't get complacent. Make sure you have clearly defined goals that you can work towards and track and set progress indicators that you can check weekly, monthly, and quarterly. Make sure you know what you're doing to drive yourself to your goals. Having a clear vision, concrete strategies, and trackable indicators will keep you moving forward instead of coasting on past success. Number three is believing your database will last forever. Maybe you've built a large database of leads in the last few years when everyone is interested in buying real estate. That doesn't mean those are valuable leads now. Things have really changed. We've already seen 25% of the buyers out there that could buy a house six months ago cannot buy a house today. One buyer who closes a deal is better than a list of 100 leads that never open their emails. Work on cultivating relationships with your leads and your client list. I always talk about this, nurture, 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 where they're really the rubber meets the road. Number four is failing to diversify your lead sources. Leads are tougher to come by today, even compared by two, two months ago. There's just a lack of buyers out there right now because it's so expensive to do that. So imagine being a realtor who relied on Craigslist ads in 2014 or Facebook ads in 2018, relentlessly believing those methods, methods will stay and work effectively today. Technology changes, platforms change, and audiences change. Make sure you diversify your methods of lead generation and stay on top of what's working. Next thing you want to do, number five, is avoid not adjusting expenses for down market. It feels great to make high margins in a booming market. Many realtors have been enjoying increased profits in the last few years, but knowing tighter times are coming, it's key to adjust your revenue expectations. Whether that means cutting unnecessary expenses or simply budgeting more carefully, remember that revenue is not always high in normal or closing or challenging markets. So if you've entered the real estate industry in the last few years, you may need to tighten your belt soon. And I would do it like yesterday. The agents who don't probably won't survive and you just won't see them in the business in the next 12 months. But that doesn't have to be you. If you're smart and you've adjusted your strategy to align with reality, you'll work out fine. Stop preparing now to keep your business growing when others can't. If you'd like more tips on how to manage the current housing market or like information about joining my professional real estate team and learn how to make over $100,000 of net income guaranteed even in a declining market, check us out at Sell More Homes Now at Info. I'm Nathan Clark, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.